A large zonular dehiscence was noted during a routine cataract surgery in a middle-aged lady. The capsular bag was ultimately removed after extraction of the nucleus epinucleus. Cortex was aspirated completely. Hyloidal phase has remained intact. It's a limbal tunnel fecus action. A iris fixation eyewear was inserted into the anterior chamber after checking the slits in the haptic. Sometimes hip slits not complete, then enclavation becomes tough. Two MBR blade entries were made exactly perpendicular to the tunnel position. A 27 gauge cannula nicely enclavates the haptic, one haptic, and three chamber is deepened. The eyewell is held at haptic optic junction to stabilize it and it's taken behind the iris. Ideally, the pupil size should be around 3 to 4 millimeters before we enclavate and ensure that the optic is in the center of the, con the cornea. A large cannula will sometimes be very unwieldy and a short, about 2 to 3 millimeter long, bent 27 gauge cannula is excellent in such situations where there is lesser space between the upper lid and the cornea. Vitreous phase has remained fortunately stable like in most of the cases uh, who come with zonular dehiscence. AC irrigation aspiration to remove every bit of viscoelastic is important to minimize post-operative inflammation and high pressure. The ports are intact. There's no need to hydrate. There's no need to bandage so that the medications can start immediately. The post of follow-ups and visual recovery is similar to any other case and corneal or retinal problems are highly insignificant. Thank you.